Welcome back everyone for the next part of Tales of Vesperia. I think it's about time that we see that sage they were talking about. Don't you think so? Hi kitty. But before we do that, maybe there's nothing hidden in the corner. There could have been something. But there isn't anything. Excuse Duke? me. Are you the sage? Can't be, right? You're not quit here. Huh? Hey, that's... You're... Who exactly? Duke, Patty! It's Duke, our best friend! We've run into each other a couple times. Our best friend! You... How have you come to this place? Oh, a monster carried us over. What do you mean, how? We walked. As in, across the desert. I see. And yet, how did you... Hmm? <laughs> no matter. For what reason have you come? Uh, we have a box with a CL crystal. We're a little curious about this. <laughs> this must have cost you dearly to obtain. Eh, huh? why? Actually, it just sort of landed in our lap. Hmm. That was quite a miracle. You're planning on making a barrier blast here, aren't you? You're free to go pretending you're a sage, but forget about making any blastia. Who would even consider building a barrier blast here with something that's so obviously not a core? But it is a solid mass of air. It simply lacks an inscribed formula. Lacks an inscribed formula? What do you mean? They are most commonly known as Apathea, of which the clear CL crystal is one example. Uh, Apa... Apathea? So this is an Apathea? That the treasure you've been looking for, old man? Also, I am not the sage. Huh? What are you doing? Why is no it on the ground? No such being exists any longer. Mm, that's a problem. Uh, we'll need to get that back from you in that case. Neither I nor humanity have a need for such a thing. Huh? Duke? Whoa! What are you doing? Hold on a sec! Duke? Where's it's my the crystal? the same phenomenon we saw at Cave Mock! Where's my crystal? Oh, man. Just when I found one. The Apathea bring only chaos to humanity. They are better off returned to air. Return to air? Is that really all you did just now? There's still no reason to go smashing other people's things. What kind of a person treats treasure so poorly? Wasn't the clear seal crystal, the Apathea, needed to save this town from the monsters? This town has no use for a barrier, and no need to be saved. And why is that? This place has been granted everlasting calm. Come to mention it, it is pretty quiet here. But still, there are monsters like Pharaoh nearby. How do you know of Pharaoh? Oh, we had a meeting. I'd ask you the same thing. You seem to know about him yourself. <laughs> Dude, come on. Please, we are kind of tell us what you know. Pharaoh referred to me as a poison. Oh. I see. You know something, don't you? There is a being in this world who possesses a power the Endelikea despise. And Estelle is that being? You mean... me? This being is known as the Child of the Full Moon. Child of the Full Moon? Like in the legend? By Entelikea, you mean Pharaoh? That is correct. But what would the Entelikea have against me? Against a Child of the Full Moon? So now you call yourself already a child of the full moon? What is this power the child of the full moon possesses that they despise? Mate, what is it if it is about your healing power that you can use without your plastia? That answer lies only within the hearts of the Entelikea themselves. After all, that would be the only thing you have instead of all other people. But why would they hate that? just healing, right? Which means I've got no choice but to find Pharaoh and ask him myself. Do not be foolish. Meeting Pharaoh would end only in the death of the child of the full moon. But... Estelle, give it a rest. Hey, Regay, uh, Jaeger from Ruinsgate talked about the Entelikea earlier, didn't he? 
something about them being the ancient race that built Nordopolica. Oh? So Pharaoh built Nordopolica? That doesn't seem possible. Take your leave. There's nothing more for you here. Wait! There's something I want to ask you, too. What were you doing at that Air Crene? Just who are you? What is that sword of yours? Well, he's Duke. You know that already. And... Dunno. <laughs> Those matters exceed your comprehension. Do not ask of them again. Go. I have nothing more to say. Oh, come on, Duke. Where do you get off? Rita. Come, let's go. Bye, Duke. I hope we see each other again. I still like you, even though you're kind of rude. Duke may have been the one that saved us in the desert. No, but it was the monster. Hmm, maybe. No, it was the monster. I'm gonna go and thank him. Oh, come on, Estelle. Hold up. He doesn't seem the type to do something like that. You don't think so? Just a hunch. You said that child of the full moon he mentioned was the sister of Bray Vesperia, right? <laughs> yeah. Goddess who bathes this world in her golden light, you are named child of the full moon. Your brother, brave Vesperia, watches over us from the skies. You remain bound to your mother, the Earth, and will shelter her with your unceasing protection. Is there like a hidden meaning in there? Maybe. I'm not sure, but maybe it's more than just an old legend. Remaining to protect the Earth, huh? Could protecting the Earth have anything to do with ruling over this world? You mean like becoming the Emperor? If Estelle is the child of the full moon, that would add up. Which means all the previous Emperors would have been on Pharaoh's hit list. I've never heard of anything like that. Maybe you're special. Hmm. This all sounds pretty complicated. Yeah, I suppose it might be a bit too complicated for you, Patty. It's too complicated for you, too, old man. <laughs> Rita Good. can explain it to you later. Me? Shouldn't we be thinking more about what to do next? I'm gonna stay here. There are things I've got to investigate. Investigate? Clear seal crystals, apatheia, all kinds of things. Honestly, I have a few bones to pick with Mr. Warm and Fuzzy over there. If you're all going back, we'll have to say our goodbyes here. Oh, come on, Rita. But... Oh, that's too bad. I don't imagine the desert will be much fun on your own, but good luck. You did? Oh, that's right. I can't go anywhere without crossing that desert. Ah, so she doesn't have a choice but to come along with us. We can afford to take a load off while she's checking things out, can't we? True. I'm pretty interested in Apatheia myself. If we're going back into the desert, we need to take time to prepare. We don't want to keel over again. That's true. How about we leave tomorrow? Rita, one day should be enough, right? Shouldn't be a problem. Thanks. I appreciate it. Oh, Rita. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, then. We'll meet up near the exit tomorrow morning. Right. See you then. Okay. Parted with everyone. So, what am I supposed to do now? Let's return to the house first. Maybe there's something hidden inside of it. I have nothing left to say to you. Never mind, there was a cutscene. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Duke. Rita, come on. Get along, you two. Don't go away, Duke. I, I wanted to talk to you. You're not going to follow him? What's the point? He's not going to talk to me. So this was a complete waste of time? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Huh? Apatheia? When the air crene went berserk, Regay, I mean, Jaeger, was carrying this box. This box was what messed up my magic. You think the Apatheia is what's causing the air crene to go out of control? Maybe. Since this has a connection to air. Judging from the evidence, it could be a valid hypothesis. So when the Blastia and Heliord was going out of control, you think there was Apatheia nearby? 
Well, Estelle was nearby. And the air crane and cave mock too? Estelle was nearby. <laughs> there may have been. Otherwise, maybe the Apathea has been damaging the whole world's air crane little by little. Oh, that would be bad. And a large distortion just happened to appear then. That would be really bad. I see. Since it's poisonous. It's really nothing more than a guess, but it could be right. You don't sound very sure of yourself. In science, you continually make hypotheses, then test them, and you get closer and closer to the truth. That's how it is. Hmm. Well, okay. Maybe I can do something with this after all. What are you gonna do now? The next step after a hypothesis is testing it. Okay. How? How are you going to test that, huh? No, not now. I lose my concentration. So you don't wanna talk to me. Nice of you. Really nice. Let me just check. Stuff. I knew there was something in. There's a really old key. It doesn't look like it will... Uh, like it will open. Okay. Okay, I guess there's nothing left in here. Maybe there are even more cutscenes if I find my people. That are somewhere around the town. Somewhere around the town. Hey, old man. You can feel free to go on ahead to Nordopolica. Hey there, youngin. What? You want to get rid of me so soon? Never! Wrong. I just wouldn't want you to miss the new moon and your chance to deliver the letter all on our account. Honestly, I could do fine without your concern. Wrong again. If Brave Vesperia gets in the way of Altosk's work, we'll be apologizing to the Dawn for an eternity. What? You're too young to bother yourself with such fluff. It's a matter of Brave Vesperia being trustworthy. You see what I mean? We've still got time left until the new moon. We'll be fine. You sure? Anyway, ain't about to go back through the desert and that cave myself. <laughs> if I got killed by some monster on the way there, not only would the letter not get delivered, but Brave Vesperia certainly wouldn't look very trustworthy to potential clients then, would they? True. In that case, we'd collect your bones and the letter and deliver them as promised. That's also true. Oh, how kind of... Don't worry, you're going to get a nice grave if that will be the case. Wait, hey! Anyway, just as long as you won't go blaming me if you don't manage to deliver it on time. No problem! Oh, Raven. So, where are the other guys? Uh, Fistel? And Pete? So you weren't able to meet Pharaoh after all. But I learned about some very important things. The child of the full moon. And the Antilochea. Antilochea. But the only new thing we learned was what those words mean. As for the reason Pharaoh's trying to kill you, it seems we won't know unless we go and ask him directly. Which is kind of risky. After all, he hates you like, like a real threat of the world. But you heard what he was saying. If I go to meet Pharaoh, he'll just wipe me out. It looks like we'll never know the truth then. After all this... It's like I'm being told that I should just give up. No, no way. Maybe... Huh? Maybe what I'm trying so hard to figure out isn't really that important to know at all. What do you mean? If I'd never met you, Yuri, and I just kept living my life in that castle, I would have lived without ever knowing about the Child of the Full Moon or the Antilochea or any of that. So maybe I could just go on living without knowing why Pharaoh wants me dead. But can you? That's the question. So you're saying you should just go back to the capital? I think that's definitely an option. If that's what you want to do, I won't stop you. Yuri... Our contract with you is null and void at this point, after all. That's true. It's just, I don't really like hypothetical situations. They're not real life. And I'm not too good at pretending to forget things that I already know. <sighs> if you can do that, then I don't have any problem with it. But can you really? Then I... I can't do that either. But I have no idea what I should do in this sort of situation. You want to know the truth, but you don't know what to do. That'd be a good summary of your situation, right? Yes. Gotcha. 
Don't worry, Estelle. We're going to figure something out. We're going to help you. How about if we were to meet Barrow and you stick somewhere else, will we get the information for yourself? Huh? That way, we won't be treaden at, or try to fight you. Will we also get the information you were looking for? It would be a feasible option, right? And again, I don't think that would count as you doing exploration and experience more of the world and high petty. Would you like a skewer? Sure. Is it any good? Why don't you try it out? It's my grandfather's secret recipe. What? But didn't you say you had amnesia? I know everything there is to know about Eifried. I traveled all over researching about him after all. That's how I figured out Eifried was the one who told me my name was Patty. Eifried told you your name? I. That's my oldest memory. Hmm. Just remembering that fond look makes me feel all warm inside. Hmm. I don't know whether he's really my grandfather or not. But I feel that he was such an important person to me that I can't help but think that's who he is. I see. Still, it might have been smarter to keep that to yourself. Aye, but... You're used to it, huh? Aye. I don't let small stuff like that bother me. Well, you say that, but you seem quite bothered by the other people. Crying gets you nowhere, was it? But even if you understand that in your head, your emotions aren't necessarily gonna listen. I'm more patient than a camouflaged stone flounder sitting still in a field of stones. Oh yeah? But your info broker turned his back on you too. It's nothing. Things will work out. Tomorrow's another day. What will be, will be. In any case, you need to eat up if you want to cheer up. Hmm, okay. Hmm, mm, this is good. Didn't I tell ya? Oh, a new title. I could have missed that if I didn't check all the people. Imagine if I did that. Save up. Uh, let's see. We are still missing Carol and Judith. Who are supposed to be somewhere around here, probably. You're always out walking around, aren't you? Yes. I guess I'm a pretty restless person. Judith. That's unexpected. You seem to have some problems staying put yourself. Maybe. I'm pretty restless myself. That's not so unexpected, I think. <laughs> Maybe it's the wanderlust coming back to me from when I used to fly around with Baul all the time. That could be it. Yeah, back when you were wearing that weird white armor. Yes. Are you going to look for Pharaoh by yourself? Nah. Oh, then where were you planning on going? Nowhere, I was just looking for you. Only a walk. Oh, I see. Doesn't it seem like we've been meeting this way a lot recently? <laughs> oh, you noticed, huh? No, must be your imagination. You noticed it. Uh, okay. I kind of wanted to try it out, but... Oh, Carol needs to be up there. Right over there. At least I hope he is. I don't... Oh, yeah, there he is! Man, his get-up is kind of hiding him with all the other people. We weren't able to find Pharaoh after all. Yeah, our first job as a guild was an egregious failure. Don't say that, we got informations after all. What do you think? Should we go back to Dongrest? That might be best, but would you be okay with that, Yuri? And what about Estelle? I'd be fine with it. As for Estelle... She won't be. I'll leave that answer up to her. Alright. This sure is a serene little town. Huh? Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? No guilds, no empire. It's a little strange. Yeah, but I think it's relaxing. Yeah, but even so, I prefer Dongrest. That's how everyone is. Everybody prefers the place where they grew up. You too, Yuri? 
Well, yeah, sure. But if we're gonna work together in Brave Vesperia, we'll have to decide on a single place for our home base. Well, since you are the boss, it's probably going to be Dengris, right? We could always make someplace new, you know. Or we do that. Someplace new? Yeah, you know, everyone thinks of Dongrest as the Union City, but it's really Altosk City. It could be like that. Brave Vesperia could make its own city. Do you even know how much that would, that would cost us? Brave Vesperia. Vesperia's own city. And a town, yeah, and the houses, like and the people. Do you even know how expensive that's going to be? Well, either way, we've got a lot of jobs as a guild ahead of us before we can be thinking about things like that. Yeah, now that you mention it, Nordopolica is Polistrali's city, isn't it? Yeah, if you think of it that way, Nordopolica is more of a guild city than Dongris, even. Yeah, and Belius rules the city, too. Nordopolica, hmm. Leader of a city, Duce of a guild. I wonder what sort of person Belius is. A really important one, of course. And we're going to meet her very soon, so... That question going to solve itself, right? So, now that we've talked with everyone, I think it's about time that we go to the inn and rest up. Right? We got stuff from the, from the shop. We should be... Oh, is that cheap? Uh, okay. Where's everyone? Are we going to meet up outside? Glad you could make it. Well, excuse Sorry to keep me. you waiting. You'll be heading back too, right? Yes. Thanks to your help, we've recovered our strength. We were thinking we'd cross the desert with you all. That is, if you don't mind. Don't worry about it. After all, I don't want you to risk your life crossing the desert alone. Just make sure you don't go wandering off. How about us? What's our plan after this? I'm headed for the Air Crene and the Weasand of Kados. But I am curious about the Entelikea, too. I have the honored task of delivering this letter here to Bellius. We're going to take care of that first. I'd like to meet Bellius once myself! I mean, seriously, the Duce! I want to see just what kind of person the leader of the only guild to rival Altosk really is. Bellius? Yeah. Bellius is the Duce of Palastrale, which governs Nordopolica. She's the most important person there. You're friends with someone that amazing, Carol? Uh, we don't know her yet. Huh? Friends? Well, uh... It's Nordopolica for me, too. I'm gonna see what Flynn has to say about those knights in Mantake. That's assuming he's still in Nordopolica, of course. Hmm. I... I want to know why the Antilochea hate the child of the full moon. Which means I have to meet Pharaoh. But there's got to be another way that doesn't involve Pharaoh. Right. Besides, walking around in the desert just looking for him wouldn't be easy. True. Why don't we all head for Nordopolica, then? You're only looking to find out the reason you were... attacked by the Antilochea, correct? E yes I imagine Bellius could tell you if you met with her. Maybe. Why? Because of the connection between the Entelikea and the Colosseum? Oh, right! I do remember Jaeger mumbling something about the Entelikea of Nordopolica. If we can believe anything he told us. Well, we'll pass through the Weasand of Kados on the way to see Bellius. Good enough? True enough. All right then, Nordopolica it is. Right. First, let's get back to Mantake. What about Patty? If I remember correctly, there were some people in Nordopolica who didn't think too highly of Patty. Alright, we need to be careful about that. I'll be fine, as long as I don't run into any of them. As soon as I'm out in the open sea, everything will be okay. Then, will you come with us? Aye, that I will. Oh, cool! So that means we're going to get our ship back. Didn't Bellius only meet with people on the night of the new moon? Yeah, we'll have to get a move on if we're going to see her. I'll kick myself if we miss the new moon and have to wait another month. Ho oh, ho! That would be a ridiculous time. 
really want to know. Well, we could cook a lot during that time. But what's the point of that? Jorn and man take are totally different. It's much cooler here. Maybe it's the ocean. The ocean is very nice, yeah? It's a beautiful place, too. But it seems boring. I wonder what the folks here do for fun. I kind of like it. This kind of calm, quiet village suits me. I can't stand loud people. Oh, that's got to hurt, old man. She was talking about the town, not about me. Hmm, maybe. <gasps> do, do you really hate me that much? <laughs> oh, poor Raven. But don't worry. I think that was just a show. After all, she's a nice lady. Uh, wait a minute. Let's use a holy bottle. Let me quickly see what's around here. Because it seems like this area continues on quite a bit. What's that? Cannot reach it, okay. But I see a skeleton up there, which is probably some kind of... Wow, the days just fly by. Material. What's with you all of a sudden? Oh, I've just been thinking about how strong we've grown without even realizing it. That's because we have terrible luck. What does getting stronger have to do with having bad luck? We keep running into one mess after another. The Empire, the guilds, everybody hates us. So all this bad luck made us fight, and so we got stronger. Is that really luck? It's all right, Carol. As we travel, the winds of luck are little by little turning in our favor. Exactly. Luck just flies by too, like the wind. Yuri, you're kind of missing the point. Ah, uh, I don't know. I think that's lucky. After all, I try to avoid most of the fights if I have a chance to avoid them. Like, holy bottles. So, let me quickly grab this. And let's see. Something else here. Something of interest. Okay, turns out there's absolutely nothing. Please let me be. Don't want to bother any of you. Especially since I ran out of the bottle stuff. Come on, I can do this. I can do this. Do this, I can do this, just sneak by. Sneak by. There's absolutely no reason for me to fight any of you. Where do I even need to head? Left. Through the desert. And far beyond. Oh. Oh, I can stay on the field. That's nice. That means I can just pass by. Uh, what is that? Never mind. Let's just uh, let's just go to the the city. But we need to go anyway. We're finally here. Come on! I've seen enough sand to last me a lifetime. You're telling me. Look, there are people outside the town. Wonder if that means the curfew's been lifted. Oh. Come on! Easy now. Haste makes waste. Indeed. We need to be cautious here and see what's going on. Hurry, hurry, all aboard! Let's all enjoy a nice little tour of the desert, shall we? But while we're gone, the children! I promise riches to anyone who can bring me the remains of that giant winged monster. Then your children will be able to live in the lap of luxury. But what's the point if there is, is their lives? If they die, then they don't get any rewards, and you are a, a total liar! Please! Don't make us go! Stop your whining. I told you vermin to get aboard. Now get moving this instant. That's just how we were sent into the desert. Why don't they get on board themselves? Because they must know just how dangerous this desert is. Just like what happened to us. 
The giant winged monster must be Pharaoh. Yeah, but what's he want to capture Pharaoh so bad for? Well, what are we going to do? We can't just stand by and watch, can we? No, we can't. I'll... I don't think it's a good idea to go right now. I'm afraid that idiot isn't going to listen to anything a princess would say. Then what should we do? Carol, come here a sec. Hmm? What? Yeah, I could do that. But I'd need tools. Wait, you mean... What? Yes, perhaps this will help. What? How convenient. Huh? Carol, what are you... What are you trying to do? You guys better bail me out if this goes bad. Huh? So Carol? you did pick that up. Well, it was just lying there. I thought it might be useful. Whatever. What's he doing? Now about all we can do is leave it up to the kid. What is it with these commoners? They're slower than slugs. Get aboard, damn you! Sir Kimor, everyone is aboard. Everyone except yourself. What? What? Me? Those who do their jobs slowly will never learn without punishment. Sir Kimor, please, I beg of you. I have a wife and daughter. If you'd like to stay here, I'm sure I could arrange for them to go in your place. Wow. What a scumbag. Now be gone with you. Carol. Don't worry. That young man is very capable. Hmm. And Petty, how does it look? You see something? What's going on? Who was it that readied this coach? <sighs> Fix the blasted coach! I will find out who's responsible for this! Oh god. I've gotta hand it to the little runt. You did it. <sighs> My heart was pounding like a drum. This won't do anything more than buy us some time, though. I think it's about all we can do at the moment. We're still in the middle of our journey, after all. Yeah, Cat and Carol would start crying if we try to tackle the knights head on. How about we make ourselves scarce before people start getting too curious? Yeah, we need to go away. I suppose Pretty we'll be on day. our way then. Yeah, I'm sure your kids will be so happy to see you. But there won't always be someone around to save you. Thank you again for all your help. Guess we should lay low at the inn for a while. Okay. Using your power to terrorize people. There's not a soul in the lower quarter that evil. You've gone too far this time, Qmore. Oh, his eyes. They were pitch black. Pitch black. Ah, uh, let's see. Are there some quests in this town? Exit and enter the town. Talk to the man standing near the oasis and talk to the man next to the inn. Exit and enter the town, huh? Am I able to do that? Yeah. But I have some doubts that he's going to be here right now. Wait. Uh, talk to the man standing near the oasis and then talk to the man next to the inn. I don't see anyone here. Well, I, I think maybe we need to do that later. Here, repeat. Have a skewer. <coughs> that looks quite tasty. Boiled eggs are the best part. Nonsense. Daikon is the centerpiece, Patty. Daikon. Hold up now. That's unexpected. Usually you're happy with anything you can chew through, Rita. That's just how good skewers are. But both Rita and the old man are wrong. Where are they mistaken? The true star of skewers is fish cakes. Especially the white ones. <laughs> fish cakes, is it? And repeat agrees. Well, I don't mind as long as it's tasty. Just be safe. No, you're not bad. Okay, I guess... Oh, are you two? Hey, kids. How's it going? Oh, it's you. 
thank you for saving your, our mom and daddy. Ah, oh, shucks, kids. That's, that was nothing. What are you getting all bashful for, old man? After all, we even got a reward for helping them. Oh, what's the matter? Hey, it's you! Thank you so much for your help back there. Thanks to you, our children have someone to take care of them again. No, really. We hardly did anything. No, no. It's thanks to all of you, uh, all of the precious water you shared with us, that we are here today. I doubt this is really enough to thank you for all you've done, but... Woo! Thank you! It's the least we could do. Thank you. Here you go. Huh? This is important to you, right? You can have it back. But... Don't worry. Your mom and dad already gave us something that thanks us for helping them. We couldn't take your reward too. It would be greedy. Okay. See you later, okay? That's nice. We even got an uh, hourglass for that. So I guess the quests aren't unlocked yet, so let's get to the inn first and take care of that. Hi there. Oh, you've returned safe from... From the desert, of course. Welcome back. Looks like they've still got guards watching him. Of, the, of course. You must be tired. Please enjoy your stay. That Qmore punk is really a lousy guy. Why are there so many lousy guys in the world? It's probably some kind of disease. That could be. It's gotta be the disease they call stupidity. So you do catch on. I bet you're right. I wonder why they're trying to capture Pharaoh. I don't know, but at this rate, they're going to send all of the adults in the town out into the desert. Oh, no, they don't. And once the adults are gone, it might be the children's turn next. We need to do something against that. We cannot let that continue like that. No, that can't happen. If I just spoke to him as a representative of the Imperial family. Then he won't listen to you at all. Are you forgetting what happened in Heliord? Yeah, Estelle. He didn't care that you were the princess at all. <sighs> He's not the kind of person who'll reasonably listen to the words of a princess. Whatever happened to the talk of going to Nordopolica? So should we help the townspeople, or should we help ourselves? Why can't we do both? Rita. Don't you want to know what the Antelikea is thinking? If so, you should put this whole business with Qmor out of your mind for the time being. It's a strange feeling to be agreeing with you, but... I think we should focus on meeting Bellius for now. Even if we captured Kumor, we wouldn't have the authority to try him for his crimes. Unless... we... would do the same thing as we did with the other guy. If we can't do anything about him, we should focus on what we actually can do. If only Flynn were here. Flynn? But where is he? Somewhere, somewhere on Nordopolica. I wish I knew. Guess we can't kill two birds with one stone, huh? I'm sorry, Estelle. We don't mean to be ganging up on you. It disgusts me, too, to imagine that jerk snoring all nice and cozy in his bed right now. But... Rita, I understand. Lock up a guy like that, and as soon as he's released, he'll just end up doing the same thing again. Oh, no. Yep, you know what they say. The only cure for stupidity is death. Oh, no! Three? The only cure for stupidity is death. Oh, no. Rest in peace, Kamal. You will not live this night through. I'm sorry. I repeat. Are you going to be my killing buddy again? Where is he? Guess I'm on my own this time. I guess I'll have to play by my own rules. He's so dead. Oh, 
How did I get two more? Here? You're... no! Yuri, it's you! What are you doing here? I'm a reaper. I'm come to end you, I guess. Yeah, my blade is ready. Why are you so scared? Someone! Someone come quick! You would cross swords with a noble? How are you, noble? Very well. I accept your challenge. And you're shaking like a leaf. No! How oh, could this? Why are you so weak? You talk too much, Qmore. The time's come for you to make your exit. D do you have any idea the trouble you're in for even pointing that thing at me? Nope. Because we have no witnesses. <laughs> Even if you run, nobody's going to give Wait. you what you did. I'm not the one to blame. I've just been following orders. I had no choice. Uh-huh. Then don't hate me. Hate whoever gave you your orders. Wait, how about this? I could use my authority to pardon all of your crimes. A fresh start. No need. I may even be able to have you reinstated as a knight. Do you think I need that? I have no shortage of money. With enough money, I'm sure I could satisfy your every wish. Go ahead. And tell me what it is you want. There's only one thing I want from you. Jump into that hole. Uh, and what might that... Oh, gosh. No, stop. Stay back. Don't come any closer, you beast. I am Kilmore, the captain of the Imperial Knights, the man destined to become Commandant! You're way too weak to be that. <laughs> I don't even need to attack you. I beg you, spare my life! From what I can see, you are already trapped. You're going to die on your own, I don't even need to do the finishing... ...flash. Please, no! Not like this! I, I, I don't want to go like this! Do you really uh, think you have a choice? Tell me, how many times have you heard those very words? <laughs> Bye, Kimura. Let's hope nobody's going to find you ever again. Oh, Flynn! Oh! My people have taken control of things here. The residents of this town won't suffer any longer. Uh... Did, uh, did, did you... Did you see what just happened? That ought to put you one step closer to your next promotion. Are you going to arrest me? I'm heading back to the others. Yuri, we need to talk later. Don't wanna. I know. Uh. I don't I'll be wanna. I'll waiting. Down at the lake. I don't wanna. It's not going to be a nice talk. It's going to whoop me. I was strong the last time. At least the people are happy about them being pushed away and all of that. Uh. Who'd have guessed this town could ever be this lively? Yes, it's a great relief to know that people here can live freely again. I'm still in shock that Flynn actually came. That was amazing timing! Yeah. But Q more might just cause more pain somewhere else. Oh, don't worry about that. You watch. Flynn will have that guy behind bars in no time. Right, Yuri? <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. Yuri? Raven? Oh, can you sleep Raven, like that? you're gonna catch a cold. 
He wore himself out playing with all the children. You'd think he was 12 years old. Welcome back. <laughs> They're still going out there. I can't keep up with them. What happened to Patty? She's still dancing. I really don't get kids. I saw you having a good time, though. You're an awesome dancer, Rita. What? I want to see that. Shut up. Huh? The old man's asleep already? <laughs> that was quick. Eerie? Just gonna go have a word with Flynn. I'll be back. Oh no, I don't like that talk. We don't want that. Can I return? No. Okay. Since we are quiet, uh, we already are 50, uh, 46 minutes. This is going to be the last cutscene for this episode. I hope. Why don't you have a seat? Oh, you already sounds quite disappointed of me. Well, are you angry? You said we needed to talk? Tell me, why did you kill two more? You know it's not our place to pass sentence on the crimes of others. Well, that guy was kind of a douche. He wouldn't... He wouldn't become just, just because he got, went to the jail, you know? He was to be punished in accordance with the laws. The laws are bad. And just what laws do you think would have punished him? The same laws that failed to punish Rago? <sighs> Give me a break. Yuri, you... Oh no! Oh no, don't... The laws have always been the tools of whoever happens to hold all the chips. Just saying that doesn't make it right for individuals to judge right from wrong, or for you to operate your own private court of law. If the laws are at fault, then fixing those laws comes first. It's for that very reason that I'm still with the Imperial Knights. But you can't deny that lives were saved because those bastards were put down. You'd rather tell those people, Sorry you have to die today. I promise we'll change things soon. Oh, wow. That's not what I'm saying at all. But it is, actually. Do you know how long it's going to take to change laws? Do you know how many people are going to die because you had to wait so long? They're out there, you know. People so bad, they'll just go on hurting others. What can the average person do but be victimized by people like that? True. You know it was the same way with our people in the lower quarter. Even so, Yuri, what you're doing isn't right. Do you intend to rain your justice down on all the villains of the world? That's the behavior of a common criminal. No. That's not a common criminal. That's justice. I recognize it for what it is, and I've made my choices. Murder is a crime. And even knowing that, you intend to dirty your hands. Well, they are already dirty. Intend to? I already have. Well, the last one doesn't count. So this is the path you've chosen. Don't make me repeat myself. I won't. But it seems you don't yet understand the full weight of your choices. Oh no. We're going to be enemies from now on. But... As a knight, I cannot overlook your crimes. Mm. I knew it. It's going to walk back! Captain, I finally found you! <laughs> Oh, never mind. Thank you. What is it? Girl. Our barricade of Nordopolica has been completed. Also, it appears that the hunting blades are on the move. Sir, we must go to Nordopolica quickly. <sighs> Captain. Understood. Sir. Bye, Flynn. Seems like you can't whoop my ass this Yuri? time. Bye. <laughs> I know you better than anyone alive, Yuri. If you insist on walking down the path of a criminal. Oh, wait! Repeat! Yuri. Oh, Estelle. You should know better than that. You're way too pure for this so, world. So, you heard it all? I'm sorry. 
Are you afraid of me, Estelle? If you are, you can quit right here. Join Flynn and go back to the castle. I'm not going back. Huh? Hey. It's true, the things you've done are against the law. Oh my god! The music! I need to talk but over I, the music! I'm that's, confused. That's, that's the music that's probably copyrighted. It's oh also god, true that no. your actions saved the lives of <laughs> others. Uh, let's make random sounds to cover up the sound so that I don't get copyright strike for this little scene here. Come on, game. You could have warned me much earlier. Someday I might what turn I my blade to on do you. What about that, huh? You'd never do something like that without Come a reason. Come on. If you ever end up pulling your sword scene. at me, I'm sure I will have done something to deserve it. <laughs> I'm ruining the cutscene. <sighs> if you're going to go with Flynn, now's your chance. You seem and like you're in a hurry. And it's even the best music in the whole game. No. I'm going to continue on this journey with you. Oh, music doesn't have to be that. It's while traveling with you. I know I'll find the right path for myself, <laughs> too. So what I'm thinking is... It's such an emotional scene and I need to ruin it. I cannot even turn off the music. It's unfair, game. Unfair. Here's the road ahead. Yeah, come. Let's shake hands and the music. Please. Thanks. Uh, I'm probably still going to get copyright, copyright straight at, uh, striked either way. I just know it. There's nothing I can do against it. Ah, oh, it's so... It's so unfair! So unfair! Oh, I haven't oh, sawed the, logs the, like uh, that for uh, a good long uh, uh, <sighs> Haven't saw logs I, uh... Yeah, it's called oversleeping. Okay. Nothing I can do about that. We're ready to hit the road, so get that sleep out of your eyes. Hey, old man, your eyes are all droopy. What? That's not good. Jeez. Huh? There are fewer knights than before. Yeah, Flynn and his crew went back to Nordopolica. That must mean they were traveling by night. Was there some emergency they had to deal with? Yeah, something about barricades. They wanted to eat some fish, so they went back to Nordopolica. What? Oh, come on, Patty. They're not like you. Maybe they had to take care of the monsters from the Colosseum. I'll bet Paul Estrale requested the help of the knights. Hmm. We'll have to wait and see. Hmm? Well, it's just that Flynn said something about a barricade. Barricade? What could that mean? Are they out to arrest Bellius for what happened in the Great War? I can't imagine that Paul Estrale would be outmaneuvered that easily by the Knights. I get the feeling this is gonna get messy. Maybe we should think twice about heading back to Nordopolica for now. But the new moon's almost here. If we miss this chance, who knows when we might meet Bellius again? If I can't go to Nordopolica, I can't get on a ship. Oh, that would be bad. If I don't get on a ship, I won't be able to find the Maristella or recover my memory. Well, actually, we could just pick you up in the other town. There was a hub for there as well. That's all well and good. I'm just not in a hurry to get tangled up with that armor-wearing bunch. Me neither. We'll just have to be careful, like always. No use panicking about it. Hmm. Don't forget. I want to take a look at the air crane and Kados. Sure. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. All right, let's head out. But I think that is the perfect time to make a little cut. I'm sorry about ruining that one cutscene, but I that kind of surprised me that there's suddenly that information about a forbidden cutscene. I didn't expect it to be forbidden. Well, uh, I wonder what I'm gonna do with it. Anyway, anyways, I hope you guys had fun and see you in the next part. Bye.